I'm TV6 meteorologist Eric DeBroca, and here's your latest weather on demand forecast. We saw just a beautiful day for the 4th of July holiday all across the UP. We did see, though, some cumulus clouds develop thanks to the instability in the atmosphere and those warm temperatures. And we do see them now as well, but they're starting to dissipate once again, just like yesterday, as soon as that sun starts to go down. We do have some clouds returning, though, off to the west, but that's another story. But for right now, we're talking about, well, a beautiful forecast for the fireworks for the 4th of July and even into the overnight hours as well. This will hold true right around 70 degrees across the west, even the low 70s for right around 10, 11 o'clock this evening. In the mid to upper 60s across the central for Marquette's, the lower harbor there and in the east will be in the mid 60s as well. But we dodged a bullet here with all the rain that we saw for the fourth, uh, rather for June. We certainly lucked out here because, well, we see not only the warm temperatures, but no rain as well. And take a look at some of these stats as well. The fifth 80 degree high of 2017 was recorded on the 4th of July. And last year by this time, we already had 11 days at or above 80 degrees. And so, of course, that summer was very warm last year, uh, well above average, a couple degrees is how it averaged out. But 2015, we saw three days by this time, and that was a cooler summer than average. It does seem like it's going to follow that pattern as well, the cooler than average summer, or at least near average to slightly below. Right now, what's not below average are temperatures off in the plains here. We see 100 degrees or uh, pretty close to that in Pier 98 there. It was 100 actually in Bismarck about 6 o'clock. Uh, Eastern time. Right now we're right, uh, right around 80 in Sawyer and Green Bay and low 80s across central Wisconsin. But notice here we can already see some changes. While it's clear now and even downstate as well, we are starting to develop some rain, especially in western Minnesota and eastern uh, North Dakota. And we, this uh, yellow box is indicated a severe thunderstorm watch through this evening. So there are severe storms out there and this is the reason why. A cold front bringing much different air with it is going to be moving eastward towards us and uh, it's going to be very slow moving so for tomorrow don't expect that to get here but do expect out ahead of it well ahead of it actually just a few light showers mainly across the central and western portion of the UP but come Thursday that's a different story because we're not only going to be very humid air is going to be in place we're going to have a few other meteorological conditions known as uh, wind shear that will be helping us as well and it's not good for severe weather or I guess it is good to see some severe weather so just be aware of that, especially Thursday afternoon, early evening. And once that front does slide into through the region, that's when we're going to see temperatures really tank for the first part of the weekend. Highs tomorrow, though, not so much. We're going to see them soar into the 80s, especially in the interior west. 83 to 73 will be the range. Just a few light sprinkles or showers possible in the central and west. Your TV six-day forecast now. We see that the temperatures climb well into the 80s and even a few 90s especially towards the Wisconsin line for us on Thursday. But once that cold front slides through, courtesy of those strong and severe storms, then talking about a different story, dropping 20 degrees or so, temperatures only in the mid-60s for highs along Lake Superior shoreline by Friday, right around 70 inland. And Saturday and Sunday, just a slight chance to see some more showers and storms Saturday. But we cool things off once again into early next week.